Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross. Last time we just basically started the game and did some random shit at the beginning. And now we're gonna go to Lizard Rock to do the uh, getting some scales for Lena because she's she's uh I don't even know a typical woman <laughs> wanting stuff. Uh, yeah, sexism. All right. Anyways, fucking analog stick still doesn't work. I don't know why I keep doing that. I know it doesn't work. I don't think there's any reason to fight him. I mean, duh, there is obviously a reason to fight him. There's a chest back there. I'm just trying to remember whether that chest was worth it or not. Since I didn't really explain it last time, and since I wanted that one fight in the, in the prologue, so to speak, I'll explain it now. Basically, it's pretty simple. It's like... See how he says, it says sta, STA 7.0, basically stamina. You can use your say you can you can attack as many times, you can attack pretty much as many times as you want, as long as you still have stamina. This this is a weak attack, takes one stamina, medium attack takes two, strong attack takes three, and it tells you the percentage you percentage it has next to it is how likely you are to hit with that attack, and, it, and the percentage goes up based on how many times you've already hit. See, if I if I hit with the first one, now that goes up from 75% to 81%. And I hit with the second one, three goes all the way up to 87%. Then I can hit. Obviously, there are ways to, you know, increase your accuracy to so make it so you could just use the three is atta three attacks like all the time and of course there's element which I haven't really done much with yet but I'll show you how that works see also that's the other main core system of this game is the element grid and HP plus one As you can see, we really you don't really get anything. That's like the world get very little. They'll let you get little minor stat increases from a couple of fights, but then after that, you just don't get any until you fight the next boss, and then you can get some minor stat increases again. These are the Komodo dragons, by the way. <laughs> just kind of did it without telling you. I've played this game so many times, I just know what's going on. This is where you get the Komodo scales, obviously. Everything here is water. I think I have a fireball element. Ah. You, the only thing that's kind of weird about this that like you have to use all of your stamina pretty much in order to for it to refill on you. You could also defend, I think. Yeah, and another interesting thing is that your your percentage to hit is based on what enemy it is. So like if you like you saw there where I hit that one guy and then the other guy came up to attack me. And then I went back to hit that other guy again. I still had the same percentage to hit on him, but if I, but the other guy would have had the original hit percentage, which is kind of cool. It saves that, so I can't mess up your freaking combo or anything. Just one Komodo scale. That's the easiest one to get by far. And this one down here takes a little finagling. With that guy. Oh yeah, we gotta work. If you knock that rock down in the water, you get this chest. But you gotta fight this guy first. Only really getting the chest, but sometimes it makes makes you have to fight enemies. But fights don't take that long, so it's not a big deal. Womp. Especially because. Is a really easy way of healing. They'll take whatever your. See how my 
I think it says level 2. So I build up two levels. Cause basically, that's all I have things equipped on. I think you can go up to... Can I go up to three? Probably can. It takes everything you have built up so far. Like, if I used an element, like, I used a level one element, it would go down to level one. But since I have two levels right now, at the end of the fight, it will then use any healing elements I have in those two levels to heal me if I say max max healing without using consumables. It'll use cure since I have it set in level two, and it'll heal me for free. You don't really have to worry too much about healing between battles. As long as you let your, you know, grid get up high enough. I'll probably s no, I don't wanna I'll let you check out the element grid here. Yeah, it's basically I have not much anything right now. I have a tablet, I have a cure plus one. I'm going to put Fireball plus one, two here. Can you see it says, uh... <sighs> Sorry. It's had a really... Some heartburn or something there. I just ate before I started recording, so... It might have not been the best choice, but... Yeah, whatever. Anyways, as I was saying... Uh, Fireball is plus two here because I put it on level three and down there in the bottom right corner there it says level one plus or minus seven which means that base level is one but it'll be stronger for every level above that you put it on that's why that's fireball plus two but it also means you can there will be ones later that you can only put at a certain level to be like you can only put you can only either only put at a certain level you have to put at a certain height like level four plus or minus four means you can't put it lower than or yeah you can put it lower than level four but it'll be weaker silver loop what the heck is that and then there's some later that literally you can't you have to put on either like level seven or level eight obviously I think that just increases your chance to hit yeah it does put it on now because it's the only thing There's no one else around so why not oh, fuck you can avoid that guy if you don't fucking come at him right when he's coming on screen yeah I don't think yeah I didn't think you'd get around him but I thought I'd give it a shot some of these enemies, like I said, you do have to fight. Maybe those I'll cut out, but maybe not, because it depends. Yeah. It's all a matter of how long it takes, I guess. For right now, obviously, the beginning of the game, they don't take too long. I'm not going to cut them out. You see, we're already not getting any minor stat increases after this first couple of fights. And we won't until we fight the first boss. This is actually coming up in a little bit, honestly. That is actually a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> I'm happy that I got that on the first try. Because very often I don't. <laughs> ah. Dick. Yeah, quite often I don't get that on the first try and it's quite annoying. It. Fireball plus two. You are so dead. We'll make the battle go faster. That's pretty much why I did it. He also, used, I didn't really make mention of. He uses like a, a dual-sided like scythe, kind of like double blade. It's like a double-bladed weapon that kind of has like a like a grip in the middle, 
and two blades on either side. It's called a swallow. It's really fucking badass looking. I like it. The one he has now is pretty just kind of generic looking, but ones he gets later look really fucking badass. Alright, and then this is the most annoying one to get, because you literally have to chase this fucking Komodo dragon all the way around this fucking circle. And it's going to take a while. Hopefully it won't, but... Ah, there we go. That can take a long time if you're not, if you don't know the path really well. <laughs> and this is the final one. Really? Die. Uh... Normally I would have just used Fireball to take him out after, since I had it ready, but... There's actually a boss coming out after this, in the same fight, so it's the mother, the Mama Komodo. So I wanted to save it for that. <laughs> Eat it, bitch. This isn't too difficult, honestly. It's just whack away at it enough and then it dies. Also, another thing to note. You can only use each element once per battle. So I can't use Fireball again. But obviously you eventually get a lot of lots of space on the element grid. Well, she's already dead. But you get a lot of room on the element grid and you have multiple you can put multiple, you know, elements up the same one if you wanted to even so you can you use them in battle if necessary and see we got a star which basically is like a level up it's the only way your stats increase in this game and you get random stat increases I get strength I'm happy <laughs> I always generally want to have strength magic is good too but for surge you pretty much always want to have strength and luckily I got a strength so I'm happy <laughs> you don't always get one and I'm always sad when you don't Surge is really one of the only characters that's pretty gonna be pretty much gonna be present for all the level ups. How do I get to that chest that's in there? I think you have to. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Maybe I will. No. There's a way to get to that, and I kind of forget how you do it. You gotta go like through something weird. Maybe it's down here. Yeah, so you can jump down in the water here. What? Oh, guy just fucking spawned out of nowhere. Fantastic. Again, like I said, it's the beginning of the game. I'm not going to cut these fights. Later, if shit like this happens, I'll probably cut it. As you could tell when I was fighting those one guys, a decent strategy you want to do is like... Ah, oh well. Is to leave yourself one stamina so that you could cast an element. You attack with like six stamina and then can leave yourself one stamina left so you can use an element with those levels that you built up. Gives you the most bang for your buck, so to speak. It's really nice that this, that this game doesn't have like an MP kind of system. You, you can just use all of the elements you have every battle. And you don't have to worry about conserving anything, really. I mean, yeah, there's consumables, but I fucking never use them. Pretty much. Except for maybe the status element ones. The ones that cure status elements. I use them sometimes. But the ones that heal, I really don't use that much. Helmet. Give me that defense. Yeah, there's a chest down there. Kinda don't care about it though. Yeah, I don't care. 
Maybe I'll come back later and get it, but I don't really care. Sorry, it's <laughs> singing. Well, Paso Beach. We're supposed to meet up with Lena to give her shit because she's selfish. <laughs> Well, like you were here the whole time. Shut up. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, we get older. Things happen. sentient, then yes. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it is, but... Well, what else did you have to do? You were kids. I don't really remember, but I think it's better to say I remember. There are random choices that matter, <laughs> but I don't remember them all at the top of my head. Oh, apparently we're getting married now. Who knows? Totally forget this. Well, Sergio won't forget this day, but that's for a reason that comes up. That's going to come up in a minute. <laughs> Shit's about to go down. Just to see he's fucking going to call to him and do some shit. face plan <laughs> I'm not sure it's ever adequately explained what actually happens there or like who does that maybe it is we'll, we'll find out together I guess <laughs> because I don't necessarily remember. Nope, I'm, I'm definitely alive. Although, I might not supposed to be supposed to be. And she like disappeared or something apparently. Just a beach. I mean, what's gonna happen to me other than getting hit by a giant wave and passing out? You know, that, that never happens.
And we actually have to go back through Turtle Rock, which is odd. And there's completely different enemies here. Hmm. I wonder why that is. That's, that's definitely a little odd. It's not the Komodo dragons that used to be here. No, there's weird fish. And there's another treasure chest. We already got this treasure chest, though. What the heck? People go around refilling treasure chests? Freaking Matrix dodge my shit. What the hell? <laughs> Fireball that guy, because he hasn't attacked yet. I just want to get this chest, really, because it randomly has more stuff in it when it shouldn't have. I already have on every helmet, but I guess it'll be good for other stuff. And now the music's different, even. Hmm, definitely odd. But, we'll just see. I'm sure that the village is the same, but we'll go check that out in the next episode. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this new uh, series. I know I love this game, so. But anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys 